When this Colombian couple relocated inside a sewer, their life underwent a full transformation. They had battled addiction for years but were able to ultimately turn their lives around thanks to their peculiar living situation. They have now transformed their former gutter home into a tiny personal paradise. This tale demonstrates that you should never evaluate someone based on their appearance or manner of life. Despite residing in what most people wouldn't deem to be appropriate living accommodations, this Colombian couple is incredibly content. We're going to show you what Maria and Miguel's Colombian home in the sewer looks like today. Warning! It's not what you'd anticipate, so make sure to keep watching the entire video until the end to know their story. In this world, there are two categories of people, those who value worldly luxury and those who do not. You can tell that Maria and Miguel are among those who don't by taking a glance at their sewer-based home. They don't have any of the conveniences of contemporary society and live in a sewer, yet they are content with their lot in life. They generally keep their home's details highly confidential, but they've suddenly decided to let us have a peek inside. Both Maria and Miguel were drug addicts when they first met on the streets of Medellin, Colombia. For the two, life had been challenging. They didn't have it easy either because the city they lived in is notorious for its violent crime and drug cartels. Both had lost their jobs due to their addiction. They slept by the side of the road since they had no money and nowhere else to go. They ran across each other while sleeping nearby, and they soon fell in love as their bond grew over time. When they were together, they at last felt like their lives had meaning. Things seemed to be poised to get far better than they had in previous years. They made the decision to overcome their addiction and live happily ever after. Without any money, it was difficult to find a place to live. They had to find another somewhere to sleep because they were unable to pay rent or a mortgage. Although they were accustomed to camped out by the side of the road, they now desired their own home. Miguel eventually came across a location that would work just for them. Miguel had discovered a sewer that wasn't in use. It was entirely dry and resembled a bomb shelter somewhat. The sewage cap served as the front door. Although the interior wasn't very big, it appeared that two persons could fit inside if they really tried to make it work. So the two remained in the sewer for the ensuing 22 years. They were able to entirely overcome their addiction as their love for one another only became stronger. With time, the couple converted their sewage into a comfortable house. They have everything they need. Even a small kitchen, lights, and electricity are provided. Although it isn't very big, their sewer home has been separated into various sections. They don't mind if their house is a little messy, and they claim that nothing compares to sleeping on the streets. The two have successfully utilized the area. They keep their clothing on improvised shelves. They had a dog who they named Blackie, and when the spouse is away, Blackie skillfully protects the house. Is it really true that there have never been any thefts from the sewer home? Miguel and Maria want to spread a message to everyone. They've finally given us permission to see into their sewer home because of this. They want to demonstrate that true love is more essential than material possessions. Love allows you to overcome any obstacle, residing even in a sewer.